classic prim looks from my boudoir. And as a little reminder, please stick around until the end for the mini photo shoot that we provide for you at the conclusion of every episode. Now, let's get started. What month are we in? What month are we quickly leaving? January and barreling into the throes of February. And February is what? The month of Cupid. That's right. Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Now, I have to start here. I'm in Aries. What does that have to do with February? Well, Aries is one of the three fire signs and the first in the constellation, I might add. But I am in Aries. And what is the color of my fire sign? Red. That's right, red. But guess what? I don't really like red. I don't think red looks good on me. Only recently have I started wearing red at the urgency of my daughter. She's been like, Mom, you need to wear red. Red would look great on you, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, I'm not really a red person. But uh, at her insistence and again, her urgency, I have started venturing into red. And I don't have very much red in my existing wardrobe. So besides the Christmas pieces that you saw, the holiday pieces and outfits that you saw from, I think it was part one of my hot holiday outfit series. Go back and check it out in my playlist. That's the hot holiday outfit series, episode one, part one, where I really featured red. Um, besides that, you won't find much red in all of my channel. So I'm going to try to change that, but we'll start with Valentine's Day, shall we? With four looks. We've got four outfits for you that I hope will serve as some sort of inspiration for you in putting together looks for your own special day or events leading up to your special Valentine's Day celebrations. So what do we have first? Our first look is this jumper. Yes, it is a jumper from Zara. I have had this jumper for some time. Every piece of red that I have in my closet, for the most part, I have never worn before because I, it, it, red is very gregarious. It's very bold. It's very arrogant. And that's saying a lot that I don't like red or I'm afraid of wearing red because as a performer, part of being a performer is putting yourself out on the stage for judgment, for critique, because you feel like you have something to offer to the masses, to the world. And that, that takes a certain amount of boldness, of, of arrogance, right? So it really is ironic that I have such difficulty with styling red. So I, I'm hoping that you'll tell me what you think about these ensembles that I've put together, starting with this jumpsuit. So I did this jumpsuit with this boucle cropped jacket. We kind of went with a Chanel inspiration with this Ann Taylor brooch that you've seen on some other outfits of mine, right? It's really, really a wonderfully constructed garment, something I purchased at Marshall's a little while ago that I paired with that jumpsuit. And with the jumpsuit, the booties that I paired with it, oh my gosh, really is perfection. Look at these booties against the color of this red. It's very difficult to match reds, is it not? And I just think that it doesn't, it looks um, it doesn't look finished when you don't wear the uh, same color reds, right? It's just a perception that I have. I could be completely wrong, but it's just how I feel about it. But I really did score with matching these quite well, quite well. They're not 100%, but I would say they're about 90, 95%. You let me know what you think. But the entire look really did come together. And... Um, really came together for a wonderful um, pairing. And with this suit, the jumpsuit, I actually did pearls, of course. We went with the Chanel inspired look with this little satchel here, all in pearls. It has a little baggie on the inside, but look how cute, how super cute is this? I purchased this from Amazon. And again, pearls that I wore, um, that I've had for years now. And actually, the, these pearls are really long. 
I got them from somewhere. I'm not sure I've had these for so long. This is a really good pair of pearls. You can actually double them three times or triple them, I should say, like I did in the, the videos and the photos, three different strands. So they're very generous, very long, very substantial. But every woman, every young lady should have a set of pearls in her accessories, right? Her accessory collection, right? I also get them with another double strand of some uh, pearls from Ann Taylor. So I hope you really like that, this look. It really is cute. My daughter really seemed to like it. So we'll see what you think. I, I, I hope you'll give me feedback on your feelings on it, which I'm really, I'm never trepidatious about wearing color or any other color with the exception of red. So please comment below and let me know what you think. This is kind of a scary one for me. Second ensemble. We went with another Zada dress. Now I have to tell you, this entire ensemble is from Zada. This is a bodycon dress. And believe you me when I tell you, oh, I love finding a good deal. This dress was $17.99 at Zada. That is right, $17.99. It is a maxi. And when I say it's bodycon, it is a body Con. So much so that um, I, I went without undergarments in this dress just for the look, just for, for styling purposes, not something I would do in public, but for styling purposes, it really did suck me in so well. I did not have to wear undergarments under it, right? Which is fitting for Valentine's Day when you're feeling a little cheeky, pun intended. Now, this jacket also is a Zara jacket that I got to pair with this. But what really pulled this ensemble together is the boots and the bag that I married with all of this. Check this out. You see the tassels on the boots, right? And then the tassels on the clutch here. This is also a Zada clutch that I got oh, maybe some four or five years ago. But, oh my God, doesn't it look amazing together? Really cute. This would be wonderful for date night, a Valentine's date night, right? Very sexy. Very sexy. And then, of course, I threw on some of my Amazon sunnies to go with this look to really finish it off. Just a really sexy, demure look that I hope that you'll really like. Yeah? Moving on to the next ensemble, number three in our offerings, we have this set, again, from Zara, this hot pink. Now, everybody always does red, right? But pink is also a beautiful color for Valentine's Day, right? Is it not? This hot pink number, it is like a sateen material, but has great amount of stretch in it. And I paired it with this White House Black Market blazer, just stunning. Oh, this blazer is so beautifully made. I love the offerings, particularly the suiting at White House Black Market uh, because they're so well done. I don't shop White House Black Market very often because the price point is a bit steep. But sometimes I do find really good deals, just like with this jacket, this blazer. And this blazer was... I think about $80 I got it for. It was regular like $300 or something like that, which I was not going to pay for. Um, but yes, I, it was like $80 on clearance. But just a beautiful ensemble, right? Beautiful. And because there's hot pink in the jacket, there is, it looks, I don't know if it can, on the screen it looks white or an off-white, but it's actually gray or it's like a platinum gray. Um, can you see that there? Just a really stunning jacket, just stunning. Because it is a platinum gray uh, as a secondary color in there, I went with silver accessories and I went with accessories that you have seen before. No surprise to you, my Minodier from Nina Shoes, this platinum silver metallic and these Sam Edelman City Sandals, right? 
I just love these city sandals from Sam Edelman. Whenever I can find them, these, you can't tell, but these are actually kind of falling apart a little bit. I mean, they're still in fantastic condition, but they're just so beautifully made. And I love the heel on these. They're just so stinking sexy. Really, really, really are. So these are fabulous. This went beautifully, beautifully with that ensemble. That was look number three. And look number four, do you remember my dark romance video? I think it was number three in um, my video offerings, my long form video offerings. Number three, dark romance where I styled the navy and the black lace for you. We are going dark romance again, but with red and black. Ah! This is so beautiful. This is like a garnet red, um, the same color as my lip, uh, lip stain. Look at this. The thing that I really love, this isn't just a basic, this is from Zara. This isn't just a basic button down, but I love how billowy the sleeves are. And it has this three cuff, a uh, three button cuff to it. Look at that. Just sexy, super sexy, very dramatic right? And with this shirt, we went with these lace trousers. And what is sexy about these, not besides the fact that they're lace, I mean, you, you uh, lace is by definition sexy, is it not? But these trousers are bell bottom, very exaggerated bell bottom. Can you see that? Beautiful. I got these at H&M for $6.99. Can you believe that? $6.99. But what did we do to really accentuate and really bring out this what seemingly is just a basic outfit? Baby, baby, your baby's going to be calling you baby when we show you this. I pull that waist in with an OB belt to start, right? You know what, a, doesn't this OB belt when just laid out flat here look like a bat, right? It's just something psychologically, you know, I see. But yes, this is an all leather OB belt, incredibly, incredibly made. I had a gentleman on Etsy make this for me. It was only about a hundred bucks, whereas really high quality OB belts, you can pay ridiculous amounts for four or five hundred dollars for but this one was a hundred bucks i think it was a gentleman in uh ukraine and this is from i think maybe eight nine years ago this ob belt so i really hope you like it but in addition to the ob belt in addition i topped it all off with this stunning shawl Look at the richness of this red shawl. It has black undertones to it, but super sexy, very elegant, right? Very elegant. Just makes your heart melt, which is something you wanna do for your boo during the Valentine's Day season. Do we not, right? And what souls did I pair with this look? Um, where's the soul? Oh, here we are. I went with these lace booties from Steve Madden. Now, remember, I showed you another pair of lace booties, the same black lace booties that I paired in my dark romance video with the navy and black lace. These are not the same ones. These are a different pair from Steve Madden. I have had these about 10, 12 years, and they are as doggone sexy as the others, right? Again, another thing that I really love about these is not just the heel, but the variation, this fishnet, this fish netting here, juxtaposed against the actual lace of the booty. Just beautiful, very stunning. They're a little difficult to walk in, I have to be honest, but I actually put the um, footbeds in them and it solves the, the problem completely. And I just went with this clutch, this charcoal clutch, which really does highlight the silver, 
in the lace, the dark silver in the lace pants. Yeah, let me know what you think about this too darn hot look. Very, again, very dark romance, very sexy, very um, be nice to me tonight and I'll be nice to you. You know what I mean? Come on now, don't act like you don't know. We're all grown here, we're all grown here. But that was look number four. Again, we started with the jumpsuit, the red jumpsuit from Zara with the boucle ivory jacket over it, right? And then the second look was the bodycon dress and the gold jacket, again, both from Zara with the booties, the matching booties with the tassel on the clutch and the boots. And number three, this wonderful hot pink number, this set from Zara, uh, and then this beautiful, stunning uh, blazer from White House Black Market. Number three, and then of course, our dark romance with this just stunning, shawl this garnet red shawl with the black undertones and this billowy red top with the lace bell bottom pants that are just stinking sexy so those were four looks let me know what you think in the comments i am kind of anxious about this one so be kind be kind in the interim happy valentine's day to you and yours I am wishing you a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Valentine's Day, not just on that day, but love always. Until we meet again, thank you so very much for joining us. Oh, and don't forget to head on over to Instagram and follow me there at Suits Souls by EPP. In the interim, until we meet again, a bientôt, muses. Bye.